Hello everyone. Today I'll show you how to use Easy Movie Maker. It is the uh, movie editor that I use. I'm sorry about the audio quality because uh, I am recording on my earphones mic. It's called Easy Movie Maker and I'm going to uh, leave a link in the description if you want to download this after downloading it. So this is Easy Movie Maker. Now you can use any of these. You can use any of these, but I would prefer to use New Project. Load Project is uh, when you you have to hit press Save, and then it will be automatically saved here. Then Saved Video is the videos that you have made previously. Transcoding tools is to convert the file formats and there is also extract audio from video to take the audio from video so let's click new project for youtube i use 16 by 9 you can choose your resolution if, if you are using youtube choose 16 by 9 and in landscape now there is this thing import media so i'm going to use video first I'm taking my own intro. Now there's a save project. Click save because uh, very rarely, but it still happens. This app crashes. Then there's preview. Preview is to see what is the what the final result is there. Now let's click add media. Can I mean import? and I will choose a picture so this is the picture now if you want you can uh, change the display duration then there is animation effects like this effects to zoom in zoom out and all but when you are using uh, the animations it will uh, you can uh, the minimum duration is uh, two seconds then we have a filter filter we can use like this you can choose which one you like or else leave it in none then we have crop you can adjust the scale it's little hard to use this crop Rotate them, move them sideways and from the top and all. Then they have the effect, I mean, option called apply to all pictures. The video editing is almost the same, but with little more um, fe uh, features. So there is copy, split, delete, and edit. So we have to, if you want to edit it, uh, these are the options. You can trim it to how much ever you like. Then there is filter. Filter, yeah, we saw in the picture. Then crop is there. Crop also we saw. Display, display, displays this stuff means uh, adjusting the picture. And then there is volume. The uh, videos volume uh, you uh, means default by default it is in 100 now let's see blank video you can choose only two colors and uh, you have to write the duration in seconds I'm choosing white if you choose white also it will still come as black but it is it is white in the video then we have camera and choose a location choose a location you can just access your file and take any any file such as without having to or oh, choose the video means yeah then we have the timeline timeline 
music text overlays and the save project so first there is a uh, by default it's at uh, text now i'm in for i'm going to input the text i'm going to input help yes then you have to adjust the uh, text duration using the timeline then there are the um, fonts font color font size stroke stroke means in the outline but sometimes it might come like a um, wait I'll show you okay. sometimes it might come like a deer's thing, antelope whatever now there is shadow shadow you can choose any color you like green shadow then opacity of the shadow then there is start animation there is only one which is fade in you can adjust the time from 0 0.5 seconds to 2 seconds and there is fade out then adjust the time using these two arrow buttons you have to you can uh, skip by a few milliseconds and here is the place where all your texts are because after putting one text you can only uh, edit that then if you want to edit the previous text you have to choose this then we have overlays overlays you can use uh, pictures but video is also there but there is some sort of glitch when we use the video click on the timeline for extra settings scale opacity which is the uh, transparency of the image start animation and uh, exit animation such as this the uh, that uh, overlay is coming video you can use but it's very glitchy it doesn't work properly it's a bug then we have music music we ha already have a library for the music but you can uh, load your file using the load file option in my music so i'll choose one music uh, from my loaded file history and you can adjust it okay we have that now if you want you can adjust the um, you can trim the music and you can uh, play, uh, play it we have fade in fade out means for the music to fade in it comes uh, very uh, lightly but it's still nice then we can replace the music or remove it with the we have the music volume so this is easy movie maker and now the final stage is exporting the video you can uh, select how much ever resolution you want but uh, remember that if a video is example if the video is in 420 pixel you can't make it into uh, 180 or 10 1080 1080 pixels because uh, you can't make it more resolution then we have bitrate and the frames per second and you have to rename your file and 
choose a folder it will automatically make a folder called uh, easy movie maker you can uh, browse for your own folder using this and click submit this video is only for a uh, example so i hope you all find it useful So this is how you can use Easy Movie Maker. It's very simple to use, but it might be it might be having little bugs and it crashes sometimes. So it's a nice editor, but you just have to keep pressing save, and it it is a little bit laggy. So you need little patience for doing this. Okay, thanks for watching.